Hey, what is going on everyone? Today we have another Tesla review. We are reviewing the mod flaps for Tesla Model Y. These are specialized mod flaps that only fit Tesla Model Y. This come from Last Fit. This is a new company for us. We haven't worked with them before, but this is a very popular company. They sell LED bulbs. They sell a lot of floor mats, which we'll review in the future, as well as mod flaps for Tesla. So they've got a few accessories for Tesla, including door sill protectors, which we might be interested in reviewing in the future here as well. Uh, very well known in Amazon, as well as a direct website which I will link down below with a special discount code. Now this product is a no drill mud flaps which is different than what we typically see uh, where there is a drilling involved where you need to drill a screw to secure this but they said this is a no drill mud flaps we'll give it a try. All you need for this installation is a pry tool like this uh, plastic pry tool metallic pry tool I actually like this one and I will link down below because this has been super helpful in a lot of other installations where it's a metallic pry tool it just makes it a little bit easier to reach and put that leverage to pull that clip out and then a 10 millimeter socket just a standard socket here so this is everything that it comes with here are the hardware we'll talk about that in just a second here are your front two ones and they're clearly level so for model y front right front left so it's super easy you can't get this wrong again rear right rear left the only difference with the front and rear is the rear ones are a little bit bigger and then there is this extra hole in the bottom and this is where we're going to need this 10 millimeter socket that we're going to use to remove this screw i'll show you here in just a second again as i say pry tool and i will put this in they also send a user manual again this is from last fit they provide a detailed instruction which is really nice and then they also put a one year hassle free warranty so if there's any issues you can return this item or ask for a replacement under warranty. Here is the fastener that they send. These are the plastic uh, rivet that kind of goes in. We're gonna try to use the existing one from the Tesla, but if you wanna use this, even though it looks like a screw here, I think you can just simply push it in and then they widen to secure this. So I don't think you have to use a screwdriver. That's what I was afraid of because on that tight spot, it's gonna be hard to use a screwdriver, but it looks like you can just push this and then it just, makes this wide and then hold this thing in place. So let's go to the car, let's start with the front and then we'll move on to the rear. Now let's start with the fundamental question of why mud flaps? What is the point of getting mud flaps here? If you look at it, the mud flaps go right here behind the tire on this fender wall. And they go in like this, this is the same approach for all the cars. A lot of cars actually come with it, Tesla, they should start including mud flaps. And I think they are on some of the Canadian reasons and some of the extreme weather reasons, they are already including this. But for us, they didn't include it here. And the biggest reason why you would want mud flap is your tires come into contract with all kinds of debris on a regular basis, especially if your reason uses salt to melt the snow. There is dirt, dust, there's all kinds of things that are happening. And if you can imagine, they just spin here and then they ended up in your fender wall. They can damage your paint. They can damage all that lower part over there. So what this does is it helps you protect it. It just aligns right here and then it blocks all that debris from going and ending up in your car and protects it. So it's not a 100% protection, but this is better than having nothing here to block it. So the whole purpose of these mud guards are to block mud and debris and salt and everything that you can think of that might end up in your car, chip your paint. So just, it's an insurance. Uh, it's just like any other protection accessories. You just put this mud flap. This is specific ones are really cool because they don't require much. It is just a no drill solution. There are two holes here. There are two plastic rivets right here. There's one there, one there. And then the top part does not need drilling a hole because it kind of aligns with this clip. So if you look at this clip, what it does is it goes behind this fender cover right here. And then it just inserts there. That way, this is secure in the top two rivets are securing it in the bottom. And then towards the, the rear one, uh, we just have a 10 millimeter bolt. We'll show you how to do that. But it's pretty, pretty straightforward installation. If you find today's video helpful, all we ask for is please engage with our videos. That means liking, subscribing, commenting. In the comment section, you can put anything. You can put a smiley face. You can put that you like my videos. If you have any feedback, please do that in the comment section. If you don't like something about the video, Please let us know in the comment section anything you can do to engage with our videos, share our videos, like our videos. We greatly appreciate it because it helps us rank higher in YouTube's algorithm. In return, we will always bring videos like this to the channel and help you make your Tesla ownership a little bit easier. So as I said before, take a pry tool like this or you can use a flathead screwdriver and all you have to do to remove these rivets are put it in the edge 
<laughs> and that popped out. We lost it. It's underneath the car. We're going to go find it here. But that was pretty easy. It just popped out. And we need to do the same thing for this next one here. Again, do the same thing with this one. This one is probably going to pop out as well. But that's how it is supposed to do it. It's this, this part pops out. So if you look at this rivet, the basic principle, we have done it so many times with so many other installations. When this is pulled out like this, this is fully aligned. And that's what you need to do when you are putting it back in, is to make sure that it is in this position right here. And then when you push this in, that's when this whole thing becomes wider and then holds the whatever you're securing into place. So now we have removed both of those. We are ready to install the, the mud guard. So as I said earlier, this top part, it has a notch like this. And all we have to do is reach behind here. First, align this to the bottom where there are the two holes, but you don't have to make sure it is fully aligned. And then you need to reach behind here and then this secures it. So if you look at it, this is fully secured here. It's not gonna come out. So that is how this whole thing grabs onto this fender cover here. That way now you can just insert those screws and secure them and the top part is secured in this manner. So maybe the instructions say that I am pretty bad at reading instructions. So it looks like this new rivet, these are the new one that last fit sent are significantly longer than the OEM Tesla ones. So I do recommend you use the ones that last fit sent. Again, it's a plastic thing. You just push it in and while you're removing it, it might be a little bit difficult because you do have to probably either force this out or use a screwdriver to kind of remove this like this. But putting it in, it shouldn't be a problem. So what we're gonna do is go over here and then use that same process. I recommend you start this thread here uh, so that you don't have to put it in after the fact. And then this this part is still very loose here. So it should go in, uh, find the, the rivet hole here from Tesla. And then you can simply push this in. And there you go. Much better. This is pretty secure now uh, compared to this ones that we were using from Tesla. So do that. Now we have one more to go here. And same deal. This goes in. Then you are just going to push this in. Perfect. Yeah, this is fully secured. This is not buzzing at all. The top part is secured here and then the bottom part is fully secure. So this is good, it's not gonna come off. So the rear ones are exactly the same. We got the rear mod guard here and it clearly says this one is for the rear left, which is what we're gonna do here. And as I said earlier, the only thing different with the rear is it goes in like this, same idea, it clips on the top and then the two screws on the bottom, but it also has this guy here in the bottom, which is where we are going to reach underneath here. And if you can see this, there is that 10 millimeter socket here. We're going to remove that socket and then we're going to install this mud guard there. So the idea is the same here. Again, like the front, you just wanna put this on the edge here and then this should come out pretty easily. And yeah, so this is out. Now we're gonna do the same thing for this guy here. And then that should come out too. Now, we need to remove this socket here. Now this comes out. So just like the front, all you have to do is start this thread here and then find that opening. So it's just the hole here. And then you just have to push it in. Could be a little bit of a challenging thing again because the space is tight here, but you just have to push this in. You don't have to thread it or anything. You just have to apply some firm pressure here and then this will go. So there you go. So that one is in. Now we're going to pick up the second one and find this hole here. So we can see that hole there and then we are going to push this in. Same process. You just have to find where that opening is which could be a little bit tricky here, but it should align pretty well. And then you find this. So now we found where it is at. We can go ahead and push this in. There, So this is fully secure now. So now we gotta reach underneath here where we removed that 10 millimeter 
bolt earlier. So put this in, It you might have to bend down like this and find that hole in the bottom. And then once you find that, you can just start the thread and use your 10 millimeter socket to fully secure this in. So you just tighten this in. All right, so we are done installing this on all four sides. And if you look at it, this is really nice. It matches the color of this trim. I wish this went a little bit further here to fully match, but it kind of does feel like it pops out a little bit. This is fully secured. It doesn't you know, move or anything, but I do wish that this was up to here so that it wouldn't pop out like that. And uh, same thing with the rear ones. The rear one look a little bit more matched than the front one but uh, still this is space here i wish they came all the way to the black trim and then covered all of this but other than that it looks really nice as you can see it is protecting really well and that extra space over there should be good for all the splashes and the dirt and the debris let's take a look at it on the other side here as you can see same deal and then finally we got the front ones here same deal yeah, I mean, you can tell this are mud, mud guards installed, but I guess there's nothing you can do about it. I just hope that in the future design, they bring this all the way to here to cover this whole thing so it doesn't look so out of place here. But it is for protection, not for look. But, you know, you have to look at it very closely to see that. Looks pretty good. And it is protecting, so I'm happy. And as I said in the beginning, they do have a lot of benefits for your, especially for your new car. And if you live in an environment where they use a lot of salt to melt snow or there's a lot of road debris and things like that, because as spinning from here, uh, this doesn't 100% protect it, but at least it's better than having nothing here to protect the paint and everything here, as well as to, for, for stuff to not go inside here. So they, that is the purpose of Mudguard. A lot of cars actually come with it installed, so I'm surprised Tesla doesn't include that for everything. Again, as I said in the beginning, this was sent to us by LastFit. Uh, they are a pretty good company. They're a well-known company. They are in Amazon as well as they have their website. I have figured out a special discount code. I think they say it can go all the way up to 20% my code. So if you put Shiba Tesla when checking out, you should be able to save a lot of money on this, as well as the floor mats that we're gonna review in the future here from LastFit. They also sell a lot of other products like the door sill protectors. I definitely need it on my new car because the passengers going in and out or myself even going in and out, I don't wanna see the dirt smart on the uh, door sill. So that's another highly recommended product. Uh, we, we talked highly about it in our Model 3. So they do have a lot of product, check them out. So that'll do it for today's video. I hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, feedback, comments, anything, please drop those in the comment section below. As I said in my intro, it really helps us with the engagement to rank higher with YouTube's algorithm so we can continuously bring videos like this in the future. If you have any questions about LastFit, any other product that we have reviewed in this channel, please do let us know in the comment section below. We'll be back again soon with another Tesla accessory. We have so many Tesla products that we're testing in the channel. Super excited to put those in our Model Y as well as the Model 3. So we have two different cars now to put mods on. So lots and lots of Tesla accessories on the way. Thank you very much. We'll be back soon.